Hi everyone, this video is going to show you how we're going to find the center and the radius of a circle which given the equation of the circle in general form and we know that if the, the circle equation in the standard form we can determine the center and the radius of the circle very easily so by looking at this standard form we know that the center of the circle uh, will be hk and the radius of the circle will be the r all right so uh, i'm going to convert this uh, general form of the equation of the circle into this form so that i can determine the center and the radius of the circle easily yeah okay so first of all i'm going to uh, make sure the coefficient of the x square and the y square has to be one because we are do going to do the completing the square so the first step we're going to do is to make sure the coefficient of the x square and the y square to be one so look at this uh, equation uh, actually I'm, i purposely uh, choose the number okay which uh, the coefficient of the x square y square and x y and also the constant to be the multiple of two so when we divide by two all right so that is uh, no fraction will be uh, no fraction all right so um going to divide each term by two i will have my x square plus y square minus 12x plus 6y plus 4 equals to 0. All right. So after we have uh, make the coefficient of the x square and y square to be 1, then we can start to combine those uh, terms with the x together. So first, uh, I have my term of x square and the second term will be negative 12x. So x, uh, the term which containing the x has to be together. And now it's a turn of a y. So y square and the term of the 6y, we put it together. And the constant, we always can move to the right-hand side. Okay. So after that, I'm going to uh, focus on these two terms. x square minus 12x. So here, I'm going to do the complete the square of these two terms first. All right. So uh, how do we do the completing the square? We're going to co uh, copy down the term x square minus 12x and then plus bracket square minus bracket square the same thing for the y term i will just copy down the two term which is a y square and a 6y and uh, now i add on the two bracket which is a positive bracket square and another bracket will be negative bracket square equals to negative 4 all right so what should I fill in to inside this uh, bracket? I'm going to uh, look at this uh, coefficient of the x. Coefficient of the x show here is a uh, negative 12. So we're taking the negative 12 divided by 2. All right. The same thing will be filled up, filled inside this uh, bracket, negative 12 divided by 2. So here, this is the coefficient, this is the number that we have to uh, uh, fill in this uh, uh, for the x term. For the y term, you focus on the coefficient of the y and then uh, that is a positive 6. Positive 6 divided by 2. You fill up, you fill in this bracket and the same thing over here, over this bracket, 6 divided by 2. So now, I can tell you that this three term magically can be simplified into this form which is x, x, and uh, negative 12 over 2 will be negative 6. So I will, I will just uh, uh, fill up here is a negative 6 square. And uh, this uh, produce a constant. I try to simplify it. Negative 12 over 2, negative 6. Negative 6 square, you get 36. So negative 36 you have here. All right. So for the y term, these three terms, all right, the first three terms over these uh, y terms, okay, you can uh, uh, write them into this form, which is a y plus 3. How do you get positive 3? That will be obtained from here. 6 divided by 2 is a positive 3. So it's a y plus 3 square. So now this 3 term has been uh, simplified into y plus 3 square. So left the constant, we're trying to simplify it. 6 divided by 2, that will be 3. 3 squared will be 9. So you will get negative 9 over here. 
and the equals to the constant at the right hand side, you just copy it down. After that, the both a bracket square, okay, in terms of x and y, you can put it together. And the constant, you can move to the right hand side. That will be a negative 4 plus 36 plus 9. All right. So uh, to write it, uh, simplified form, simplify the right hand side. You will have a 32, 32 plus uh, uh, 32 plus 9 will be uh, 40, 41. Okay. So after you have uh, converted into this form, I will call this as my standard form of the equation. Okay, which is uh, you compare to the, gen uh, standard, the general standard form for the circle equation will be this one, which I have been given over here. All right. Okay, so if you have uh, converted into the standard form, it is very easy for you to determine the center and the radius of the circle. So the center here will be taking the value of here, part negative 6, convert in, uh, change, it, change the sign, you will get 6. Okay, alright. So here, positive 3, you get negative 3. Alright, for the y coordinate of the center. And the radius, we will focus on this value. Okay, this will be compared to the standard form. This is r squared. So the radius is equivalent to r. So the radius over here is a square root of 40, 41. Okay, so thank you for viewing my video.